We need to be very efficient. So we started to upscale the efficiency of the different numbers deployed to the front line. Uh, we used our own uh, capabilities and others uh, robots to um, uh, Control it. This is a speed one, and this is like most most smallest one for a precise targeting. Mm. Try to control. It. Mm. This device. This device. Predator. Uh, this uh, system uses uh, artificial intelligence. In the regions, a lot of scientists in yeah. the university they and do you use this artificial intelligence for training or for mm -hmm. also the operation? Mm -hmm. so According to European standards. So so automatically. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Roman this is Mikita. We are presenting two uh, different projects, but on the only one place under the ground to control this drone uh, remotely. And also our mission was to make, let's say, GPS is very low mm -hmm. and uh, our land helping, not our guys also. This model, this model, another model, if something is broken, you don't need to service all the machine. Any kind of FPV drone and to uh, an autonomous machine. The system does, um, it currently solves two out of five autonomy steps. The enemies are, the drone takes off, flies there, it doesn't care about any radio electronic warfare or anything like that. My name is Artem uh, Oterion. Because of the fact the uh, enemy overwhelming us with uh, its resources, we need to be smarter. Decision now to go against this concrete aim, or is it something we should do? We have a really great uh, session drive with every mission. Five kilogram payload. Uh, it uh, utilizes the. Reconnaissance drone and then uh, the full price of this drone. Can it be fight against other drones or? Um, uh, this is a product that I think is somewhat different from what we've seen. But our Ukrainian, the Ukrainian manufacturers know exactly how to use um, and that you can easily take it apart and deliver it to the front. We targets with unprecedented accuracy. Ukrainian manufacturing of the airframe and the warhead, and I think this is a flagship for what a cooperation between two strong European nations. 